Here are some tips and tricks on creating a Windows wrapper for either low level coding such as an encryption or decryption utility like this example or any other DOS based or algorithmic program. Let's set the debug level to the minimum just to see the functions as they are called. Single encryption with a simple key of hex digits from 0 through to F. And set the data to all ones. It is one thing to use a debugger with breakpoints and single stepping to trace execution and another to have the program write log data to the screen or to a file. Here is an example where a list box can be useful in adding items to the log during execution. Here is the result. Copy that so we can use it for decryption. The log is filled only with the names of the functions as they are called. It can be saved to a file by saving each item as ASCII data. Let's just clear the log for the next step. Now set the debug level to a more informative level. Where functions, parameters and results are added to the list box. Clear everything but the key. Set it to decrypt. And the result is back to the original data. Here we have the log file filled with each step as it goes through the code. It's fairly low level, it even tells the results of each function and the parameters that were sent to the function. Right. This is okay for development of the project, but the release does not need any debug info or the log data. By adding the line hash if def underscore debug all capitals, the code up to and including the terminate if in this case hash else statement will be generated only if the deb in the debug configuration. After the else goes into the release configuration and it can be reduced and the window properties adapted to suit. Right. If we have a look at the result for the release version it's a tiny 41 kilobyte file. Let's use it. We'll set one to double encrypt. The items have been removed from the menu. And set the encryption key to all twos. and the data to all threes. There's the result, we'll copy that. Back to decryption. Clear everything but the encryption key. Paste and we get the original result back.